hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been we are going to continue from the last video where we've shown you how you can um, download a digital elevation model for your preferred location or for any location of your choice right good now so as you can see on the screen we have um the dem for the location of our choice let's say yeah this is the data we used that helped us to define the location then we now use them qgis to download them the dem for that uh, particular location however upon downloading we can or let's say you can see now that um, there are different tiles or let's say there are different images that are covering that our project area or let's say our location of choice so it would be better or let's say yeah it would be better if we try to join or merge all of these um, four tiles or all of these four images to one so that when we want to proceed with the processing or maybe whatever analysis you want to do with your them it will be easier for you to have um, a composite image not just them um, four images or four overlapping images that um, are covering your project area right good so on today's video we are going to show you how you can merge what your maybe raster data or let's say yeah, how you can merge raster data on qgis right good so thanks for coming to class if you're coming to the channel for the first time you can encourage us by subscribing and if you are a returning viewer thanks for always checking up on us so you already know how we got these our four images right so the link to that immediate last video will be on the description section so if you missed that you should just go through that video and you will see how we came about this right good so these are project area now we want to get a merge image yeah a composite image that covers them um, this our project area which is being defined by this what our dem data so the first thing now we are going to do is that um, on the what we call this on the menu toolbar we go to raster then we go to what miscellaneous right good then under miscellaneous we go to what we go to merge right good so we have what the merge dialog box so yeah we have the merge dialog box where we can now impute our parameters and then allow we to what to merge our data right good so you come to these m3 dots that's the input layer you click on it then you need to select the layers you want to merge so we are merging the four sheets that um, we've actually downloaded the four overlapping sheets that we've actually downloaded right the them so we have them here yeah. so we just click on them um, okay which means we have them um, four inputs selected so you just don't um, maybe don't need to do more share grab them um, pseudo color table from first layer no you just don't need too much another thing is what the output um, data type um, float 32 most times or let's say yeah is the default that has been used so maybe if you have um, a different um, data type you can confirm and then you change it and you select from this um should i call it plethora or maybe uh, this list of um, data type right good then under the advanced parameters we might not um, also touch a thing there then we come to what um, this um, merge, um, should we call it merge, right? Good. So we have to click on this. If we want to save to a temporary file, we should definitely make them a scratch. Um, should we call it a scratch layer? Yeah, right. Good. Yeah. The scratch layer. Or we want to save to file, which means we want to save it to any folder we are working on. So it will be very good that we save to file, right? So we click on that. So yeah, we are working on a folder called the uh, merge raster. So let's just call this um let's call this the merged. Should we call it um, is this merged? Did I type it right? Merged um, data or something or let's call it a uh, merged them, uh, right? Good. So we have um, the sheet one to sheet four, right? Good. So this is now the merged sheets four, like the four sheets that are merged together. So we just um, click on save so we already have um, a part where it will be saved right good then um, i also discovered that um, you might need this if you want to run the script somewhere else maybe on python or something right good so basically these are the primary things you need and you are good to go because they are enough to merge your data so you click on run so it's actually processing 
if you can when you're doing it you would see that started and then you see the progress on your screen right good all right so you can see loading results in layers algorithm merge finished right good so it has actually been merged and if you look closely at the layer panel you'll see a merged them that has been loaded right so we can just close this and then we'll see the merged um, the merged them right so let's see let's try to move it down here a bit good let's put it on now so now with this when we put off the sheet 3 we can still see a merge we can still see a dem covering that area we put off sheet 2 we put off sheet 1 so you now see that instead of having the four sheets which are overlapping or which are separate but covering our project location we now have one which is what the merged data yeah or which the merge them which we've called it here which now covers our project area so this is how you merge what your raster data on QGIS you can apply it to any other raster data which you have or maybe that are overlapping which you want to merge and you will be good to go so yeah thanks for coming to class we hope we've provided solution to this particular surveying GIS and remote sensing problem and we hope that um, it has actually helped you and if it actually did you can um, give the like and you know share with your friends and uh, comment there to encourage us and don't forget to support the channel you can see the support link on the description section where you are going to see the previous video and you can also see it on the channel description so we are going to see you on our next video until then keep being good at what you're doing and then um, have the best of times bye